Hi there, this is Alan with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, use MailChimp to send your WordPress blog post. And so when you schedule a WordPress blog post and it actually is posted, then I want to show you how to use RSS uh, within MailChimp um, to send an email with a list of those posts within the email. So let's go ahead and jump into MailChimp. So I'm already logged in and if you just go ahead and create campaign, then it is going to show you this following screen. Click let us guide you. And then what you'll want to do is click the con connect with new contacts. And in there it has four different campaigns. One is called share blog updates. So go ahead and click share blog updates. We'll give this uh, just a different name here, test campaign. And what you'll want to do is uh, just give it a an identifier. Try not to add like a date or anything to it. Just let it be something generic that, that you'll understand like, oh, this is a daily email blast or oh, this is a weekly blast or a monthly blast. And then you can choose which list you want to uh, send to. And so um, I'm just going to choose uh, the 2020 eBusiness um, book and choose that list. And once you choose the list, then what you will do is you will enter in your WordPress, um, your WordPress RSS feed. And so I'm just entering in kickstartcommerce.com forward slash feed and then this basically will ask you um, do you want to send it every day if so at what time be sure that you have the right time zone uh, marked there and so for instance I may say something like hey I want to send it every day at 11 a.m. Um, or you know in this instance I may say I want to send it at 2 p.m. Um, every week on Tuesday and I'll go ahead and check resize RSS feed images to fit the template. And then from there, we'll go to next. Entire list, save or pre-built segment or group or new segment. I'm just going to choose the entire list. And then there's the campaign name. Um, and this is for internal use only. This is the actual email subject line. And so this is the default where it just says post from RSS feed title, which it should say kickstart commerce for whatever the date is. And so typically I, you know, put something in here like here's the latest update from, or here actually here's your latest and then kickstart commerce update for RSS feed date. Um, obviously you can try many different things. Um, if you want to, you can add in um, emojis. And so you can, you know, either click there. I mean, either you can, I'm on a Mac, so you can do uh, control command space and that'll get you to the um, emoji keyboard or you can use the smiley face that's there and then use the built-in emojis that um, are supported by MailChimp. So definitely use those, um, you know, to, to increase the um, interaction and open rate of your campaign. So you can personalize the two-field. You can use conversations to manage the replies. Um, you, I'm not going to click any of these, but you can click the necessary ones that apply to you. You can also set in Google Analytics for tracking what that uh, the title should be for the campaign. So it could be, you know, if it's a weekly email, you could put it's a weekly email um, or daily or uh, monthly email. You can also have it auto tweet the campaign both to Facebook and Twitter. Um, auto convert any video that's there. Um, I'm not going to mess with those just for the sake of this tutorial. And you're going to click next. And then here you can actually choose themes or even previously saved templates. Um, I'm just going to choose a basic. Um, 
template here and then once you're in here what you will want to do you can keep this block of code that's there and put your own in or um actually we're going to skip those messages in addition what you can also do is drag and drop the rss item so the this is basically what's going to be shown to your users and so for instance if you wanted to um, you could come in here and select custom and then instead of it saying read in browser you could say something like read more um, if you wanted to change the sizes of all of these things you could then come in and make the necessary changes you just want to make sure that any of the RSS feed items are there. If you notice when you go to custom, it says content underscore full. If you don't want the full content within your message, you can delete the underscore full part. Um, and then that will include just a snippet of the first sentence of your blog post. Or if in the blog post you have your excerpt written and you actually have it completed in the blog post, then it'll pull the excerpt. So, um, let that be kind of at the top of your mind when you're creating this. Uh, feel free to add more to it. There uh, is, you know, you can um, click the R the RSS merge tags and you can learn more about the merge tags. There are many more merge tags that you can use. But just for the sake of time, I say go through this, read it for yourself. It's pretty self-explanatory. You'll just copy the merge tag that, that you'll want to use into your... Um, RSS items content and so this is what is literally shown for each one um, we'll go ahead and click save and close go to next and once you go to uh, to next so see you go it looks like there's a problem well that's okay just because this has zero um, recipients so if you had a newsletter that had a pop-up that was adding people to it this campaign would be okay um, because it's not okay, what I'm going to do is go back and just choose uh, choose the practical guide to effective SEO. And once we choose that, we're going to just click next to go through all these steps. And one final thing that you can actually send a preview to yourself. And so if you wanted to send a, uh, a preview, you could uh, either enter preview mode and basically it's going to go out and grab all of your posts and so you can see it grabbed uh, most of my most of my posts there and so today's the 19th so it grabbed pretty much all uh, all of my posts that were most recent for the 19th and that's what it will look like so you can add in different images headers if these if these um, posts had images, so if you have featured images on those, then what you could do is go back in and then um, where it says uh, RSS, matter of fact, I'll show you here, where it says RSS content, you could do something like RSS image and then it would pick up the featured image. Now, if you don't, uh, if you use that RSS uh, image and it doesn't pull the images, then go and search for, there's a plugin, um, and I can't remember it off the top of my head, but search for featured image, featured space image in RSS um, and MailChimp. If you search that phrase, uh, featured image, um, in RSS and MailChimp, then you should be able to find the WordPress plugin, and that plugin will actually force the images to uh, start working here within MailChimp. So once you get that set, then you can go ahead, click uh, Next, and then you'll be taken to the confirmation or the um, the uh, subscribe. Um, not the subscribe page, but the, the actual confirmation page where you will go through and again, it's, it's looking to give you feedback, uh, telling you what's good, what's not good. So there you go. We notice some placeholder text in your message. So what happens is 
when you have these X's, you obviously you won't be able to send. So you have to go back in and one of the one of the places that it has here, I just put in here. Uh, this is a test message. We'll save it. We'll close it, and then I'll go in as well and put hi and welcome. Welcome and time to read up all right so we'll save and close we'll go to next and then now that i have everything correct it says you're all set to send and so once you're all set to send then what you'll want to do is start start now uh send now and start rss campaign so i'm not going to um start the RSS campaign because I don't want to send to those three uh, users that are there. Um, and so you would just start that and then it would basically start and then you would go back to your campaigns area and uh, if you needed to pause the campaign to edit it, make changes, you could do that. Um, but basically from the, from, the, from the beginning or the starting point, which is now, so whatever time it is, so if you set it up, to start at 1 p.m. or you just clicked, hey, it's Friday at 1 p.m. and I set it up not to send to Wednesday. So from that moment that you started at Friday 1 p.m., it's going anything that gets sent, anything that gets published from WordPress after Friday 1 p.m. up to the point of that send on, I believe we said Tuesday at 2 p.m. So anytime between Friday 1 p.m. and Tuesday 2 p.m., any post that gets published, it will get sent. On that Tuesday and then once it sends it basically resets and goes okay anything from that Tuesday at 2 p.m. after um, to the next Tuesday at 2 p.m. then it'll send those messages so I hope that this helps you um, one take advantage of automation um, to grow and stay in contact and engage with your um, your viewership and subscribership and so if you have any questions, feel free to drop me comments below. Um, also, feel free to subscribe to this channel. I put out uh, a weekly video um, using, you know, talking about very various things like WordPress, how to use WordPress, how to automate. Um, I even talk about domain investing um, a bit from time to time. And so you can gather some knowledge there and how to use domains to grow your business um and i talk about pretty much different tricks of the trade that that you can that you can use in terms of search marketing and domain investing so visit kickstartcommerce.com and i appreciate you watching thanks